Boy Meets World, Topanga, the crush of my life. What? I met Topanga when I moved out. What? In the hot tub. She was so nice. Wait, you met Topanga in a hot tub? Yeah. Really? In an apartment complex, yeah. And Ben Savage. And um, Jessica uh, Beal. I don't know. Okay, so Topanga, who is my crush <laughs> from like sixth grade to eighth grade, you met in a hot tub. And Jessica Beal, who's probably every man's crush. Wait, Jessica Beal, as in uh, Justin Timberlake's Tim wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so excited. I took a picture. And, and I in took the hot a tub? picture with her. I was so excited in the picture, and she was just like, "My girlfriend's awesome." She just bathed with Topanga and Jessica Biel. So every Sunday here in Studio City, California, is she making a face? She's probably making a face. Every Sunday they have a farmer's market, so we're walking up to the farmer's market in hopes to find some... Vegetables! Vegetables. <laughs> There's a bunch of carnies that set up their tents really early in the morning. More or less carnies. It's not a circus. It's kind of a circus. It's a, it's a farmer's circus. We're buying some green stuff. 7.50 with the beans. Okay. 10.50. Kale and spinach. 12 in the trays. Yeah, yum. <laughs> It's like a bartering system, like you don't even really use money, you just use like nuts and berries to exchange for cabbage and kale. What are these? <laughs> this is a large and in charge yam, if you will. What? I stopped my teeth because I just ate so much. Farmer's market success. <laughs> we purchased some vegetables and three things of saucy spread. <laughs> Travis brought. That was bought. the thing that we got sold on. Uh, <laughs> they just made them so good. I'll probably butcher it at home. <laughs> it was delightful. Peace and love. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> we thought it would be cool for the vlog to try to like share something that, that we know or whatever, you know, whether it's working out or like juicing or whatever. Uh, today we're going to try cooking. I'm going to share with everybody my infamous guacamole recipe. All you need is uh, two avocados, a quarter of a red onion, a quarter of a lime, one garlic clove, and some organic sea salt. Literally with that you can make the best guacamole ever. So slice. This is the, the hardest avocado. part. So you have the avocado, you pull the core out, you scoop the avocado into a bowl. Just like that. <laughs> Alright, so you cut your lime in half. I just have to say, you said a fourth of a lime at the beginning, so maybe we should clarify. <laughs> so I'm going to squeeze the half of a lime, only a half amount, which would mean that it would be a quarter, and then throw the rest. No! That's such a waste! So this is a quarter of an onion. <laughs> <laughs> Our dimensions are a little off. <laughs> just make what you see in the video. <laughs> then you're going to want to mince the onions. <laughs> like so. You're gonna take, you know, a garlic clove or whatever, and it's chopped up as finely as you can get them. Then you're gonna add it to the bowl. Did your mom give you this recipe? No, I made it. Oh. With the help of Chipotle. My mom says when you season something, you season it to taste. So pretty much you just, you know, if you like it really salty or not salty at all, you just figure out how much you're gonna put in and do it from there. Just mash it up all together. Travis's homemade guacamole. Official <laughs> taste tester. I can't talk. Mm. I've always wanted to do this. You know when you watch some Food Network and they try it at the end and they look like they're so impressed. They say, you can really taste the garlic and the onion. Mm. That salt at the end really <laughs> makes it. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> there you have it. It tastes good. Uh, so you try it and let me know how yours comes out. So Jenny went to one of her girlfriend's birthday parties in Beverly Hills tonight. So I am going to do dude stuff and go to the gym and work out. Oh, and just for the record, Jenny said no driving and vlogging. She didn't say anything about no running and vlogging, which makes this totally legal in her book. Damn it! Maybe no running and vlogging either. 
I don't know if there's anything more disheartening than running two and a half miles, getting to the gym, and it'd be closed. Dang you, LA Fitness! I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just gonna run, get lost, try to find my way back. I got my iPhone 5S that Jenny got me, so hopefully that stays alive long enough to, uh, to what? What the f***? Why? Why is that there? I can't even walk and vlog. This is me saying goodnight, but before I do, I want you to see what I have set up. A fire. I'm gonna watch Thor, the movie. And a pretty girl. That's me, I hope. That is her. Good night. See you guys. I think I'm still. Oh, seriously, I think I'm still coming here.